Hello everybody, my name is Jakara and today I will be reviewing Butterfly Princess Teresa from 1994. Now if you haven't noticed, there's something a little bit unique about this one. She has Chinese or Japanese writing here, here, and on the back. And I'll show you the back in a minute. But I did open her up earlier to kind of fix up some things. You know, some of the butterflies were a little bent and like her hair was kind of a little all over the place I'm trying to get it without the glare. I don't open up my doll, so I'm sorry if the glare bothers you, but I don't open them, so I'm sorry. But other than just a few bent butterflies, her wand was also floating around the box, which would have bugged me. So technically, she would have been holding her wand right here, and you can see there's like a little bit of residue left that I didn't get, and I feel kind of bad now that I didn't get it all. But some residue left over from rubber bands that were holding the wand and you'll see what the wand does in a minute but some of it I was like oh, I don't want to wipe her all the way down and then there'd be moisture in the box so I kind of picked what I could off without like moving her arms too much so she's really pretty isn't she yeah So let's see her magical butterfly wand in action. Here is the butterfly wand in action. See it's magnetic. So it's really hard to try from this angle. Try up here. They're like little magnetics in the wand part and in the little butterfly wings right here, which is pretty cool. I only unboxed her just because I needed to fix up some of the butterflies and she has residue on her wrists from, I'm hoping and assuming from rubber bands that, you know, that this uh, little wand thing was like sitting here at some point and then, you know, corroded and fell out and everything. I'm hoping that's what that is, but other than that, look how beautiful she is. See, I, I don't like it when it's not perfect. Kind of weird that way. But um, there's like these little fleckings of stuff, and I just wanted to fix her up a little bit as much as I can. So here's the back of the box. Beautiful. I love it when they use real pictures of the doll. Sometimes they'll do artwork and it just sometimes looks a little weird. But yeah, I definitely think this is Chinese. Oh, maybe it's not. I don't know. So I just think like the foreign language on there just really does add something special to it. It does add a little bit of a story behind her as well. So the seller told me that she was an accidental shipment. And she got a few of these and decided to sell them on eBay. And I sat with the idea for a while because there's nothing wrong with her box. There was just like a little bit of lifting up at here but you know me I'll, I'll fix that I don't have a problem with it but I wasn't sure that I would like her in person because sometimes they look pretty online you just saw my bird <laughs> there's my little bird bird but sometimes they look really pretty online and then like you get them and like the glitters all over the place or the hair but no she was nicely packaged so I'm really happy with her so like I said, she was from 1994, so it was like a year after I was born, <laughs> which is pretty cool that she's been boxed and survived that long. So, thank you for watching today.
you have any questions, please ask below. And uh, have a nice day.